You ever expected something to happen and you made plans, but yet it just didn't come about the way you thought it would? Maybe you're approaching it wrong. Maybe your whole thought process needs to get adjusted so that you won't be so disappointed in life and you have proper expectations about yourself, about others, and especially about God. Hi, I'm Craig Frisley with the Sanctuary in Syracuse with today's devotional. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, Paul writes and says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He said, I want you to think the way that the Lord thinks. I want you to uh, perceive life and the situations around you through God's viewpoint. That you can have good thoughts, right thoughts, and that you won't be disillusioned, discouraged, or just downright disappointed. By not getting what you thought you would get. And so Paul said, let this mind be in you. What was that mind? Verse 6, the mindset of the Lord, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but gave it, made himself of no reputation. He took on the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even the death of the cross. Jesus Christ, God manifest in the flesh, was willing to humble himself and to serve. It's a new way of thinking. Because the human way of thinking is take care of ourselves. Make sure that we're all, uh, all tidied away and everything's good for us and then we might help somebody else. But God's way of thinking is put others first. Do it his way. And then God will give you everything that you need. Because there is satisfaction, much satisfaction in helping others. When you give things away and it benefits someone else, there's a joy that comes. And then God refills the empty hand. As you let it go, then God can put something there back in that hand. And what God puts there is better than what you had before. And so approach life a different way. Allow God to help you to think about things differently so that you will be satisfied, you will be content, and you definitely will be blessed as you serve in His kingdom. Have a wonderful day. Share these with others. If you haven't taken time to like our Facebook page or follow our Facebook page, we want you to. Or if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, that way you'll get notifications of everything that we send out and then share those with others that we get the good news to many. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.